Hey guys, good morning. I have Shauna here with us. Um, I know a lot of you have my dog is going on. I know a lot of you <laughs> have been wondering um, what Shauna has been doing to get so many uh, leads. She's got a calendar filled up. She's got how many followers do you have right now? Uh, six hundred and something. So we have over 600 followers and she's got her calendar filled up you guys so it's the consistency she posts um, like we're supposed to every hour usually uh, sometimes it's she'll, every 20 minutes or so right sometimes she'll post every 20 minutes so she'll spread out her pictures instead of posting all three at once like I do um, and it just depends on what she's doing throughout her day but we were just gonna go over and show you kind of what she does in her phone um, we'll start with unfollowing because we she does unfollow um, because she has very few followers right now. She unfollows probably a hundred, you know, fifty to a hundred people uh, a day, and then she goes in and follows a bunch more. So we're just gonna go over that with you guys and see um, see if this helps you guys a little bit. Okay, so let me okay. see if I can get the camera here, you guys. You guys see my beautiful stockpile from couponing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bring the camera around here. Alright, okay. so what you're going to do is go in the followers app and go to the users that aren't following you back. And then start from the bottom because those are the oldest. So go all the way and you go one, two, three. And you can follow a, or unfollow a max of a hundred at a time. But it just depends on how many you followed like the day before. Because you want to give people like a couple days to, to get into their Instagram and follow you back. Okay, I just unfollowed 50 people. And this takes a second. Because it's a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> right? And um, we're using the Followers Plus app. Um, there are others. There's Unfollow. There's Crowdfire. There's a couple different ones. It just depends on which phone you have and what you're more comfortable with. Um, I started with Crowdfire, and I prefer the Followers Plus a lot better. Any day now. It's probably because we're in the kitchen. The Wi-Fi connection's slower. All right. There we go. All right. So hit your back button real quick and just show them. Um, see, and then here she, you can see this is her stuff. This is how many followers she's gained in a little while. But the total overall, she's gained 669 since she started using the app. Um, she has 671 followers, and she's following 1058. You want to keep this number low. You don't want to be fall. You don't want your followers to be like at 500, and you have like 3,000 you're following. You want to make sure. Try to keep it half and half. Like, yeah. you say following 600, try to keep it in between 1,000 and 600. Okay. All right. So then we'll go into the Instagram real quick, and we'll see if she has any likes. Um, if not, we'll just kind of go over a few things with you guys. Okay. So far, nothing yet. I just posted a second ago, so nothing yet. But this one has followed, so I'll show you what I or like to like the picture so I'll show you what I sent her this is what I sent her I sent the picture that she liked and I just said hey hon thanks for the love on this pic I was wondering if you were interested in growing out your hair or any of the other products we offer and she responded that she was actually interested in something for her hair skin and nails so and I wrote her told her that our hair skin and nails was perfect for her and she asked the price and I gave it to her, and I told her I was happy to hold a spot, waiting for her to respond. It's that simple, guys. All you got to do is just message people, because they're not going to message you because they're scared or shy or something. But how I follow people is I go into my followers. I pick someone random. Let's follow. Let's go to this person. I go into their followers, and then I just look through their people and I follow them and check people that are open to make sure they're not it works people and also when she does this a lot of times she'll go in um, to the ones that are that you can follow and she'll go in and then just pictures, like their pictures like that one 
Oh, that's cute. <laughs> it's really cute. That one's funny. And sometimes I'll leave a comment. Not always, but sometimes. And I'll just like a few, and then I'll just go back. It's back to what I was doing. Make sure you check. You don't want it works people on your page. Because what happened, guys, was real quick. Um, I joined the company first, and then Shauna joined a few months later, and she was on my friends list, and so she started following um, my page on Instagram. And what happened was is she notified me that she ended up with, like, what, 10 or 15 It Works distributors on her page following her. So what happened was is they went in and they started stealing all of my leads. And you don't want them to do that, okay? You want to keep your stuff um, private. Um, well, it depends on what you want to do, but I have mine at private right now. Um, it seems to be working better for me. Um, there's a couple other people on our team that prefer to have it not private, and that's perfectly fine too. When I first started, I didn't have it private. But when I have it private and they do like a picture, I know that they're following me. I know that if I message them, it's not spam. And <coughs> and so far, it's helped me. It has slowed down on how many people follow me back, but that's okay. Maybe I'm getting more quality than quantity. So over time, it will get better. Um, but we'll go back to what she's doing here. She's just following a bunch of people. Um, and I usually target women <coughs> mostly because they're usually the ones that are more interested. And check their stuff. And if they're not, it works. I go in and like their cats, their dogs, their selfies, you know, their inspirational pictures. That's a nice car. <laughs> <laughs> and seeing she could write that comment too. She may be like, that's a, that's a nice car, you know. And that's creating a conversation with them. And that way they're just they're not thinking, hey, you're just out to make a sale. You don't care about me. They want to know that you care about them. They want to know that you want to create a relationship with them. They want to know that you're gonna be there if they have a problem with the product to answer their questions to change products. And in all reality, we like our friends. We want to be there for our friends. We want to be there for our followers and help them if they need, have a problem. Exactly. We want to do that because that's what creates relationships. They're not going to buy from you if you, they don't have a relationship with you, if that makes sense. I mean, one time I think I even, um, I may have talked about this on another video, but I went in to purchase my Mother's Day ring. And Stacy and I went in, and there was a guy there, and he was selling a bunch of stuff, you know, selling the rings and jewelry and all that God stuff. And he started talking to us, and he was so pushy, you guys. All he wanted was that sale. He didn't care about us. He didn't care about my past. He didn't care about anything, and he kept pushing the issue. Well, what happens if you have more kids? You're still young, you know, and I just told him, I said, I can't have any more kids. And he says, well, you don't know that. Everybody says that. Everybody says they're not going to have any more. And I told him, I said, no, you don't understand. I can't have any more, you know. And um, for those that don't know my story, just real quick, I lost my daughter at 21 weeks. And I, I um, gave birth to our son at 26 weeks. I have an incompetent cervix. And my beautiful daughter-in-law took care of me every single day while I was on bed rest with my son. <clears throat> um, our son was ready to be delivered at basically 18 weeks and I was put on bed rest here at home and she came over every single day with her newborn baby and took care of me so um I have I have a rough pregnancy so he basically put me in tears and I told Stacy I don't care what he has to offer we're not purchasing from him these people want to know that you care they want to know that you know you have a relationship with them and if he if he would have said oh why can't you have any more children or I'm sorry to hear that then we would have had more relationship, but he didn't. He just wanted the sale. So we can't just be out there pushing for the sale. We have to care for these people, okay? We have to care that they want to lose weight. We want to care that they want to get rid of their stretch marks. We have to care that their kids are beautiful and they have these amazing cars or whatever the case may be. They want to make more money. They want to be financially free. They want to, you know, um, work from home with their kids. It's all about relationships. Um, one other thing I want you to touch on, Shauna, real quick, is that you have people that you've been writing, mm -hmm. and sometimes they are not ready to buy, so you just talk to them. Like, what's some of the stuff that you say to them? 
Um, on my follow-up Fridays, if they're not ready to buy, I usually put them in for a week or two weeks later, and I just touch base. I ask them how their week was. I ask them what they've been up to. I just ask them about their day. If it's been a day, I ask them about their day. I just, I get personal. I want to know what they're doing. I want to know how their life is. I want to know their situation. Ooh. I know, She's got wise. more people following <laughs> her. See, I want you did not accept yet. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know everything about them. I want to know. Make it personal. I want to be their friend. I want to be their best friend. That's exactly. how you got to work. Of I want to be their best friend. That's how you got to look at it. You want to be someone that they can trust and confide in if they're having. Any kind of issues, marital issues, money issues, child issues, if, you know, whatever it is, right. you want to be there. And see what she's in, doing right now, you guys, is um, she's actually on private as well. So she's going in. And for me, it's been easier to keep track of people and like their stuff and comment, create those relationships. And she's going in right now and seeing who's um, accepted her. And she's liking their pictures, and she's, you know, maybe making a comment or whatever the case may be. Oh, so <laughs> oh what a beautiful moment. I'm going to say that. See, and it's just as simple as that. It's really, really, really simple. People are excited when you go in and you say these things to them, you know? They really, they just love it, so... Um, I hope that helped you guys a little bit. I know we all want the money. We all want the sales. We all want to be successful. But you, there's also relationships that should be built. Because I've had one, two, three. I've had three of my customers become distributors, you guys. And I've been in almost four months, three and a half months. Three of them became distributors. Um, Shauna just jumped in to be a distributor, but the other the other three actually were customers first. They saw what I was doing online. They said, "Hey, I can do that." So that's what we want to we want to show that they can do this. And it's so simple. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I hope that helped. If you have any questions, let us know. Say bye. bye.